The software that I've been using is GQRX, the GNU radio, software defined radio for Mac. I have a Mac laptop here. I actually installed this. Uh, any of you who are using Mac ports can just do a port install GQRX and it'll get all the necessary dependencies. It takes a little while to compile. There's also a version available here on the GQRX website for Ubuntu Linux, which you can download. These are not necessarily kind of as plug and play maybe as some of you who are familiar with just downloading a Windows package and running it might be experienced with, but with a little bit of work and maybe some help from some people on in the GNU radio community, hopefully you can get this up and running if you want to play around with it at home. It's a little kind of project. There is also software for Windows. Uh, I haven't tried this out, but here is the actual GNU radio webpage. Uh, it's free and open software. You don't have to pay anything for this software. Uh, and there's instructions available here for how you build on Windows and, and in various other uh, infrastructures here. And again, these things are designed as uh, TV or radio receivers, but you can do a lot more with them uh, with, with some of the software that's out there. Looking back again at the GQRX webpage here, there's some stuff about meteor scatter reception, again picking up reflection of FM off, off of uh, shooting stars. There's some stuff about satellite telemetry decoding, so you can point this at a satellite and uh, figure out the data from the satellite. You can do stuff with, with planes, uh, looking at the, the data that are coming from plane transponders too. So kind of cool thing to, to start playing around with the big community that's out there. And again, you can get into radio astronomy too uh, with, with these, hook, hook this up to a bigger antenna and uh, build your own radio telescope hooked up to your computer. I mean, the capabilities that you have with one of these GNU radio things is basically equivalent to a world-class you know, digital backend for a big radio telescope from like 10 years ago. And um, you know, there were some pretty amazing discoveries being made 10 years ago. So. Mm -hmm.